Can you guess who it is? It's me, a green! And Batman. Cause, oh look at her. She's purring really loudly. She's so warm. Um, I was going to say something, but I don't know what it is. Oh well, whatever. Um, okay, so I know that I came up with this challenge, but I'm just going to kind of fail at it a little bit. I don't really have a quote because I'm so into quotes and it's like, a lot of my quotes come from movies and I don't really feel like they are up to a standard of being able to have the favorite quote. Um, come across quotes all the time. Actually, I could read one from Ginny that I'm pretty much in love with. I put it in my, um, blog. In my blog. Um, on live journal. It's at the, it's, it's at the beginning of the last chapter of Ginny, um, which is chapter 38, if you don't have volumes. Um, I don't know. Anyway, so, it's talking about the one of the housekeepers, and, um, there's, like, a woman and a man who do it. Um, yeah, I'll have to find it. Yeah, okay, so, um, where we Mary, I've come to, ma uh, to, I've been married to Mr. Rochester this morning. The housekeeper and her husband were both of decent, uh, philomatic uh, order of people to whom one may at any time safely communicate a remarkable piece of news without incurring the danger of having one's ears pierced by some thrill uh, ejection or subsequently stunned by a turn of word wonderment. So the turn of word wonderment. And I just put it in my blog because I was talking to myself as I usually do because I am so just in love with myself. I don't know. Um, and did you see that little yawn? <gasps> Um, anyway, so, yeah. Uh, but, today on Google, I found out that it is Robert Louis Stevenson's birthday. It would have been his 160th birthday, so that's pretty interesting. I don't know who that is. Um, maybe there's a little information. I looked up quotes by him because I was like, oh, that could be cool. Um, yeah, anyway. So, but I found this one, and... It's all speech, written or spoken, is dead language until it finds a willing and un and prepared and unprepared and prepared healer. And I would just like to say that I can't read for fuck's sakes. Like seriously, can I just get a little bit of human communication here? Um, I'm looking extraordinarily pale today. Just so you guys know, I turned into a vampire last night. Um. That's right. So that's a fact and a whatchamacallit. I was unceremoniously woken up at nine o'clock this morning, not so much the seven oh two that you were up at Morgan. I'm not sure if that means that you got up at seven oh two or if it means you didn't go to bed. Um but I'm hoping that you did go to bed because I usually what is she looking at? <laughs> anyway. Oh, it's only been three minutes. Wow. It's weird. Um Anyway, yeah. I feel like it's been a really long time since I've seen you guys. I'm gonna miss you guys. It's me pouting, but it's a little weird. Um, I'm just sitting here. I'm not gonna edit! My day. More about my day, I guess. I stayed up late last night um, because I kind of forgot that I was tired. And then I woke up this morning and I was still very tired. I'm still really, really tired right now. But guess who's not going to be doing schoolwork this weekend because I never get around to doing it. No, I'll do something. But um, I started a new book for English. Let's. Who's excited for when we start talking about the book in English? Yeah, that's me. Anyway, it's this one. It's called uh, The Turn of the Screw, and it's by Henry James. And we're going to be talking about it next week because we finally finished Jane. We always talk for like the longest time about books, and then we have fallen behind. In every single one of my classes, I believe, we're behind. Um, yeah. I'm going to stop talking now. 
challenge completed. Fact completed. I've been here. Uh, there are four things. I don't know what the other one is now. Random. Um. I don't know. Is she not random enough for you? If she's not random enough for you, then you're going to have to get a new random scale. Okay, I love you both, and I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Bye.